Hello and welcome. If you have been watching my videos, you will know about project number four, my headphone amplifier project. Yes, indeed, the ever evolving project, which just gets complicated as time goes by all by itself. And if you don't know about this project and you enjoy electronics, especially audio electronics, well, you better go and check it out then over here. I've just built this project yet instantly I got ideas the very night I built it and started using it. I got ideas of what I want to do and what I want to add, the things which I would like on it. And um, yeah, already itching to do improvements and things. Uh, so I'm doing a marathon now, an electronics marathon of this uh, project number two, this uh, version number two, sorry of this headphone amplifier and hopefully now it will be better than way better and maybe things will change as I'm doing my project and um, as they always do I'm expecting that you know there's always room for improvement and yeah let's see what happens so let's get started this marathon uh, on exactly what I'm doing and what circuit I'm building or what circuits I'm building. That's obviously the, the simplest circuit. It's the DC blocking from the input. Um, this thing is uh, going to be the, the VU signal boost. This is going to be, I'm going to include a battery level indicator which is again with the LM3914. I've, this is the only circuit I've not tested with regards to this. Um, there is also another bridge I've tested, a beautiful circuit here, uh, an active uh, equalization control, which is just like controlling the treble in the bass, which actually works very well. Uh, the amplifier circuit, which actually I've modified, improved in the battery power will be the efficient side of it. But then with higher performance, um, it's going to be also powered by an adapter by choice, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to put all the circuits, these, and the, ampli the main amplifier circuit on one board, or as much of it on one board as I can, because the last headphone amplifiers uh, that I made was just like boards everywhere with wires in between, more chance of error, more chance of things going wrong. So I just want to make it everything nice and clear. I've lost my page. <laughs> Where is it gone? Here it is. Right, so let's get started on this now. Only thing which I think I'm going to do on a separate board is the battery level indicator. You can see all the components of my circuits are all in separate bags. This is the components for the amplifier. This is the components for the the equal graphic equalizers. These are the components for the battery level meter. Terminal pins. <laughs> the VU scales, the VU meter circuit, I'm gonna take from the the old headphone amp that I made. Yes, I know I just made it, but <laughs> and I know that it's become obsolete already. My mind cannot stop thinking of like new and better ideas and I, I cannot rest until I you know do it. <laughs> Or is this just gonna do my head?
sendo vedar. I fell in love with San Pedro. Warm wind carried on a sea, called me the Dijo de Amor. I pray that the days would last, they went so fast. Tropical, the island breeze, all nature alive and free. This is where I long to be, La Isla Bonita. I've done this circuit, the, the battery level meter, and uh, I've tested it, it's working, I will just show you. I've actually adjusted it, you can adjust the voltage with this, uh, at which point the battery kind of displays, at which voltage, as in... Now, if I put this to around 10 volts, which is how much I'm going to get out of my batteries, because they're 1.2 volts each, so I will not get the full 12 volts, but I'll get a 10 volts. Okay, as you can see, all the LEDs are actually lit. Now let me um, lower the voltage, just very slowly. Alright, that is at 9 volts. That is at 7.5 or something like this, roughly. That is at just above 6 volts. And that is, yeah, that is at 6 volts itself. And at 5 volts, it's off, it's off the meter. So it's kind of a good indicator. This is, me put, this is me like taking the voltage up and down. It's because I've got this huge capacitor on the, the circuit, because I'm going to need it for the amplifier. I will just cut the power. 
Now that is the capacitor discharging. I just cut the power. I'll touch it again. <laughs> right, I have half an hour left, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start on the circuit because I know I can get some st some stuff done, you know, fairly quickly. And in half an hour I can get a lot done. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it now.